Hello, teeter movers. I'm Kim, your teeter move instructor. And today is day three with our teeter bell strength series. And we're working our chest, our, ch our, our pecs, our chest muscles. So what I'd like to do is have us take the bell and just set it on the floor for now. We're gonna pick it up in a moment. But let's go over, I want us to really feel working our chest muscles and not so much our shoulders. Our shoulders are involved, as are our triceps, but I really want us to isolate and feel our pecs. So we're gonna try just a couple, just a few, uh, without the bell, and then we're gonna add the bell. So imagine that we're pushing a wall out of our way and then it comes back at us. And we have to push it away again. So we're really using everything we can. Exhale and push. So that's what I want us to feel when we're using the teeter bell as well, as if we're pushing a brick wall out of our way. Nice, that's gonna be really challenging. <laughs> and take it back, good, relax. Now let's try that same set using our teeter bell. What I'd also like for us to do is scoot all the way to the edge of our chair, engage our core, so that means put that core to work to support our back, and we're just gonna tip back a little bit and lean into our chair. So adjust yourself so you're comfortably on a slight incline, but it feels very manageable. We can gently tuck our chin, keep our neck nice and long. So I want us in a comfortable, stable position. Now, let's grab hold at the black handles. Again, pull our bellies in. We're gonna roll our shoulders back, and we're going to push for 10 times. So this one can feel challenging for the shoulders, so maybe we start out with just some smaller presses. Right there. Good, I want us to really feel, and not strain our neck, feel our pecs. Good, as we get comfortable, maybe we make it a little bit bigger, but it doesn't have to be a full extension to be very effective. Take it easy, good, this is hard work. Very nice, push that wall away. Let's just do one more. Push with the chest, wonderful. Let's sit up and take a little break, relax. So we're gonna try just different variations of pushing, which will involve our chest muscles, our pectoralis major. So now from here, let's tip back again. Maybe scoot in just a little bit more and let's push down. We're gonna go for 10 here. Nice, so again, I want us to think about feeling our chest, pushing down, pulling those shoulders back. Lots of breathing. Good, I know we feel our shoulders too, but I. Our chest is really doing that pushing work for us. Those are the big muscles. Good, and let's just try one more. Excellent. Go ahead and roll back up. Now, just for fun, we're gonna try some easy pushing side to side. So we'll do 10 more. Let's change our grip and grab the gray handles. Roll the shoulders back. Again, in our minds, go right to our chest, try to relax the shoulders and really put the work right here. So we're pushing off to the side and off to the side, good. So we've got these stable wrists, our grip is strong, we're breathing. We're just pushing side to side. Wonderful, take it slow and controlled. And one more. Excellent, relax, release. Let's set the teeter bell down and let's just take a gentle stretch. So we're gonna take those hands, grab them behind, roll our shoulders back and just gently pull forward. So feel that stretch across the front of the chest, roll the shoulders back. That should feel nice. And hopefully you feel those muscles that we were just contracting. Pulling back, lifting. Good, now we took a little break from that. We're gonna try one more thing before we repeat the series. And we're just gonna try, we're gonna tip back, 
holding on any way you want to, either the gray handles or the black, and we're just going to engage our core and we're gonna do little pulses. Press and press and press and press. Good, just going for the 10. Just working our muscles in a different way. And one more. Wonderful, roll it up. Whew, take a break. All right, we're gonna run through that series again. Play with your grip. Try different ways. Um, they all work the muscles a little bit differently. But again, uh, put all of the intention right into those pec muscles, those chest muscles. Those are the pushers, so think push-ups. Things like that. Okay, so let's go back to our incline press. We'll do 10. And this time I'm just gonna have do keep my hands on the gray, on the gray handles, pull my belly in, tip back, slightly tuck my chin so my neck is not tense. And we're gonna go for 10, lifting up, playing with our range of motion. Maybe it feels good to go a little higher. Maybe not. That's okay. Maybe we're right here. It's something we can always build up to. I don't want us to feel strain in our shoulder. Keep breathing. Inhale, exhale. Let's just try one more. Wonderful. Lower the bell, sit back up. Good, take a little breather. Now we're gonna do more of a decline motion. Let's grab the black handles this time. Maybe scoop back slightly. And we're tipping back and we're gonna push down, push down. Keep flexing through your chest. So we're really actively engaging those chest muscles. That pushing mo motion is always working our, our chest, working our pecs. I'm just gonna do three more of these. Breathing and one last one. Good, again, feeling it. I feel really a pump right through the pecs. So let's scoot a little farther forward on our chair again. Take a breather. This is the one where we're gonna push side to side. So we can grab at the gray handles or the black, whatever we'd like. I think I'm gonna just stay with the black this time. Roll the shoulders back, retract your scapula, lift through the heart, and let's push to the side and the other side. Good, remember to breathe. We don't wanna hold our breath. Good, think of pushing using the chest. Nice. This is so functional, so good for us. Not twisting too much, and there we go. Relax, release. And our last one is that isometric hold. So we're gonna just push and hold it right there. Feel the chest tight. And if we like, we can even press together. Good, pushing the hands together. Neck is long. Feel that isometric. Good way to finish off that chest series. You can really engage those pec muscles. Feel that sense of pressing together. Let's do two more. Press, and then the last one we're just gonna hold. Hold, 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 hold. Feel your chest. And relax and release. Ah, relax. Let's set this down, take another stretch. So take the hands, reach them around behind. Maybe grab the back of your chair, roll the shoulders, hold on, and gently pull forward. So my belly's engaged. I'm feeling a big stretch across the front of the chest and into the shoulders. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Wonderful and relax. So that concludes our chest day. I hope I see you for day four, which is triceps.